Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We're going to be going over this article from Screen Rant as in regards to The Flash's biggest teasers so far for Season 7. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I looked through this article, kind of scanned through it. I thought it was very interesting. I thought it would make for a good video. If we go over what they say in the article as in regards to the biggest teasers, what could happen, do I think it's going to happen or not. So the kind of theories as of right now, and I thought it would be interesting if I go over them and sort of give them my opinion, and you guys can tell me yours in the comments down below. Do you think this stuff is going to happen? So posters for The Flash Season 7 hint at stories and characters to come including Iris West acquiring Mirror Powers and Captain Cold's return. So two new posters promoting the Flash hint at the storyline of Season 7 and characters who could appear. And obviously the big thing here is who could. You have to take this all with a grain of salt because this is all theories. Okay, so in addition to resolving the Season 6 subplot centered around Iris West Allen being trapped in the Mirrorverse, there is a suggestion that Captain Cold might return and is this going to be a new version or is this going to replace the original? So let's move down the article and we're going to go to the first thing. So Iris returning with mirror powers. So the one storyline that is certain to be addressed in The Flash Season 7 is that of Iris West Allen, who spent the second half of The Flash Season 6 trapped in the Mirrorverse. One of the two new posters for The Flash Season 7 centers around Iris depicting actress Candace Patton surrounded by pictures of Iris West and the Flash from the comics. Tellingly, the background behind Patton depicts a breaking mirror. So obviously this is a big thing and this is me talking right now. This is what we expected. You know, we knew she was going to break out in the mirrorverse and it completely makes sense that there is this mirror shattering because it's going to happen at some point. We know this for a fact. So yeah, this article has got that bit right because we know that for a fact, that is for certain, she's getting out. Alright, let's continue. So, the chief villain of The Flash Season 6 was Dr. Evan McCulloch, a scientist who had become trapped in a parallel dimension on the night of the Star Labs particle accelerator explosion. And so, you know, we all know how the story went at the end of the season. So, Eva escaped, Carver was killed by her, then Iris was left behind in the Mirrorverse when Eva sought to take back what was stolen from her. Okay, so let's move on to the last bit of this. So, the Flash finale of Season 6 saw Iris West Allen disappear into a flash of light as she made her own preparations to try and find out a way out of the Mirrorverse, even as her own perceptions became more warped by her stay in the world. Some fans theorized that Iris was developing a connection to the Mirrorverse as Eva McCulloch had and would have emerged with the same powers so she could fight the Mirror Mistress on even footing in the original season 6 finale. Given the prominence of the breaking mirror behind Iris in the poster, this would be a safe bet for the opening story arc of season 7. And I have to agree with the article, it is a very safe bet, we know this is going to be happening. So yeah, this poster does give away that, but let's talk about The Flash's other poster with Grant Gustin as The Flash, because this is a bit more uncertain, but I wanted to go through this because it's interesting. So the title of the next bit, the subheading is The Return of Leonard Snart, or a new Captain Colt. A picture of Captain Colt is featured in the bottom right corner of Barry Allen's poster, Wielder of a special cold gun that slows molecular motion down to absolute zero, Leonard Snart is widely recognised as one of Barry Allen's greatest enemies in the comics and was brought to life beautifully by Wentworth Miller during the first three seasons of The Flash. Okay, so we all know what happened to Leonard Snart. He went to Legends, he became a sort of hero, he died, and so, you know, could he be returning in The Flash Season 7? It could be difficult, but it's not impossible. And so it's possible that Miller may have changed his mind about playing Captain Cold again as he returned for a voice cameo during Crisis on Infinite Earths, lending his voice to Leonard, the ship computer aboard Earth's 74's Wave Rider. Captain Cold's death is also not an issue as Cisco Ramon noted in the first episode of The Flash, following Crisis, many of The Flash's former enemies have been reborn or had their powers altered when they were recreated on Earth Prime. This means Leonard Snark could be back and have fallen back to his criminal ways. Alternatively, his cold gun might have wound up in the hands of another criminal who has established themselves as a new Captain Cold. The poster could also hint at the show bringing in Commander Cold, 
the leader of a time-traveling police force from the future who adopted the weapons and costumes of the Rose Gallery. So I think this is interesting and I noted this in my video the other day, go check it out if you didn't. I talked about the poster that they released and I noted that there was Captain Cold in one of the comic strips. And in the video I said that, you know, there is a possibility that this may be a hint. I think it would be a great hint and like this article so rightfully said, you know, after Crisis, Cisco did confirm that many of the Flash's former enemies had been reborn or changed or altered when Earth Prime was created. So, you know, there is a chance that Snark could be back. I think it would be very interesting. And I think there is a chance, so I'm not going to count this out at all. However, you know, there is a chance that it was just like a thing. They wanted to find a cool comic strip and it just so happened that Lennon Snark was in the background, Captain Cold. So... You know, it could go either way, but I would really like to see him return for next season. Let's move on to the next bit, so the return of Jay Garrick as the subtitle. So another notable character is included in the middle left panel of Barry Allen's poster, a young man in leather jacket wearing a red shirt with a yellow lightning bolt. Comic readers will recognize this figure as the first Flash, Jay Garrick. In the middle of changing into his costume, this could signal that Jay Garrick, who was once the Flash of Earth 3 in the original pre-Crisis Arrowverse, could have been poised to return during the Flash season 7. Showrunner Eric Wallace has confirmed that Jay Garrick and his wife Joan survived the crisis and were reborn on Earth Prime. However, this doesn't mean that Jay retained all his memories of pre-crisis reality or his superpowers. Thankfully, this wouldn't pose too much of a problem as Cisco and Mom will eventually find a way to restore a person's memories of who they were pre-crisis. This may come about as Team Flash starts to complete work on the Artificial Speed Force, an endeavor in which Jay Garrick, who studied the Speed Force more than anyone, could prove utterly invaluable. So again, I think there is a chance. I did not realize that was Jay Garrick in the comic strip. Maybe that was put in there on purpose. And the fact that Eric Wallace has confirmed that Jay Garrick and his wife who was a version of Barry's mum, and obviously he's a doppelganger of Barry's dad, survived Crisis, so, you know, the facts of that, I think they do plan to definitely bring Jay back at some point, and probably Joan as well. So, I would say there is a chance, because he does like to show up, you know, like, at least, like, once a season, or, you know, every now and again, so I think there is a chance. I think Jay Garrick would be awesome to have back, so... What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's move on to the last bit of this article. So the arrival of the other Wally West. Perhaps the oddest inclusion in the posters is a shot of the original Wally West from the comics, the red-haired nephew of Iris West, who first became Kid Flash and took on the mantle of the Flash after the comic book Crisis on Infinite Earths. So yeah, that is a big thing. Obviously we're after Crisis on the TV show, he came in after Crisis in the comic books. So this version of Wally West recently assumed a major role in DC Comics' universe, having acquired the powers of both Dr. Manhattan and the new god Metron. It is believed that Wally will have a major role to play in restoring the DC universe in the wake of the Death Metal storyline. So that's happening in the comics right now. Obviously that is very different from the TV show because Dr. Manhattan and everything and Death Metal storylines aren't a part of the Arrowverse. So, yeah, take that with a grain of salt, but anyway, moving on. Surprisingly, the idea of bringing in the alternative version of Wally West into the Arrowverse is not an outlandish idea as it may seem at first glance. Reality fans of The Flash are familiar with itself in a rebooted reality created when the reverse Flash, Eobard Thorne, went back in time intending to kill a young Barry Allen, only to kill his mother instead. That sentence was a bit weird, I think what they meant to say was, you know, we're used to this reality where, you know, the original timeline didn't continue, they created this new timeline, so it's a normal timeline for the show. And basically it goes on to say that, you know, there could be a different version of Wally West in the earlier timeline which Storm was privy to, so basically the original timeline, and so the Flash would have wound up lost in time as a result of Thorne's machinations due to him vanishing in crisis you remember the original article where barry was supposed to vanish in a crisis after a fight with thorn and so this wally west could be introduced into arrowverse as either a new villain or out to destroy reality to restore his own timeline or as a successor to barry allen this later option seems more likely given grant gustin is only contracted for one more year of the flash but almost anything is possible in the upcoming season so yeah there is a you know bit where wally west is in the poster 
This is the one where I don't think it's going to happen because of the fact we have Wally West on the TV show. I don't think we need, like, another version. Like, if we ever see another version like this ginger hair Wally West, like, you know, originally in the comics, I think it will be, like, a glimpse, maybe, like, a flashback or, like, a, you know, seeing another Earth or something like that. I don't ever think they're going to have, like, a ginger hair Wally West show up properly. And I really don't agree with the fact that you know, they say in this article he may be a successor to Barry Allen when we know that Grant has specifically said that, yeah, he's contracted for one more year, but he plans to do it for as long as he can. He's talked about doing like eight, nine seasons, you know, maybe even over ten. So, you know, maybe the research wasn't completely there on that last few sentences, but, you know, Grant wants to stick around and I don't think there's ever going to be a successor of Barry Allen on the TV show because it's so established it's been you know we're on the seventh season they're not gonna change who is the protagonist of the show sorry even if you love Wally West I love Keenan Lonsdale and you know maybe another version would be cool of Wally but you know no way they're gonna take over from Barry on the TV show so what do you guys think about that I think it's very unlikely we're gonna get this version of Kid Flash I think it's more likely Jay's gonna return Captain Cold could return due to what's happened after Crisis, and I think in regards to Iris and getting mirror powers, there is a chance, considering the fact that she just like disappeared at the end of last season, which was kind of similar to, I guess, some of the stuff that Eva could do, so what do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below, and make sure to tune in to my DC fandom coverage later this week, where we're going to be talking about the Flash trailer that they dropped for season 7, and the different panels, and what we learn in regards to our DC TV shows, so Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.